everyone. It's 9.30. It's time for us to go ahead and get started. Let me advance my slides here. Um, good morning. My name is Jennifer Walker, and I'm a member of the Central Texas Water Conservation Symposium, Symposium Planning Team. Um, I am the Deputy Director for the Texas Coast and Water Program at National Wildlife Federation. And we have a good group of people here who help plan and present the conference this year that I'll introduce you to in a little bit. So thank you for joining us this morning for the 11th annual Central Texas Water Conservation Symposium. We have a great program set up for you all over the next two days. And I'm gonna go over some logistics and then I wanna give you a little background and context on our program for this year. Everyone in the audience is in attendee mode you will not be able to turn on your mic or camera, but that doesn't mean that we don't wanna hear from you. I invite you to post your questions using the Q&A function in Zoom. You will see um, the little Q&A icon at the bottom or the top of your screen. It's circled in red here on the slide. Just click on that icon and type in your questions. Well, we will have time allotted at the end of each presentation for Q&A. And feel free to chat us if there are any technical or other questions that you have for our team. We will be recording the presentations and we'll post the recordings and slide decks on our website at texaslivingwaters.org. And we will send out an email with the link as soon as they're posted. So I wanna acknowledge our stellar planning team for this year's symposium. Stacy Panday from LCRA was our fearless leader and kept us organized and moving forward. Hi Stacy, there she is. Um, and the rest of our team includes Blake Neffendorf from the city of Buda, Christopher Charles from the city of Austin, Megan Bach from Aqueous, and Jonathan Seafeld on our team at National Wildlife Federation handled, um, is handling getting all the stuff posted online and the bios and everything since we don't have a paper program this year. And Marcin at LCRA is running this whole Zoom operation. So um, we really appreciate him for that. So we have an awesome giveaway this year. We, since we're virtual, we wanted to do something fun and also support our friends at the Meadows Center for Water and the Environment and uh, at Texas State University. So the first 100 people that sign up for and attend um, the Central Texas Water Conservation Symposium will receive two tickets for a glass bottom boat ride um, on Spring Lake at Texas State University. The glass bottom boat is so cool. If you haven't been there before, you can really see the Edwards Aquifer in action and see the headwaters of the San Antonio River, of the San Marcos River. Um, and they have safe operating procedures in place and they're up and going and it's a really fun outing. So uh, we will be contacting the folks that um, are receiving these after the conference. Uh, you'll hear from Stacy and I on that. So our theme this year is proactive water conservation programs in it for the long haul. Our theme reflects, reflects our focus on water conservation strategies that will deliver for the long term. Climate, water supply, customer makeup, and community practices vary across our state, but the strategies that will work for the long haul can be applied in every community, and we'll learn about several of those today and tomorrow. The summit will be presented over two days, and today we're gonna to take a dive into climate change and how to adapt programs and practices in response. We'll hear about AMI conversion and customer portal integration. And last, we have a speaker on generational intelligence that I'm super excited to hear from. Um, I, I wanna know what generational intelligence is and, um, and I, and I wanna know how we don't all think alike. So that's pretty interesting. Um, so, the agenda I'm showing to you all here, um, this is all posted online at texaslivingwaters.org. If you look at the events tab, the bios for all the speakers are there, the agenda, um, the link to get to this meeting, but you're already here, so you know how to get here. Um, I'll go over the second day too, because tomorrow we're gonna jump right into our presentations because we have a very full agenda tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll get started right at um, 9.30. 9.30 again, and we'll hear from Dr. Robert Mace on reuse, um, the impediments to reuse and what's happening at the Texas legislature on this topic. We'll also hear about how data can help achieve better outcomes through programs such as landscape water budgets and the Texas A&M's Water My Yard program. We will continue with the reuse theme by looking at on-site reuse. Uh, Catherine Jasinski with the city of Austin will introduce us to Oscar and Clara. 
the, um, these are Austin's new on-site water treatment systems and um, really one of the first rollouts for these. So you'll be the first ones to learn about them. Um, Earl Wood will describe how Hearst Creek Mud has used innovative treatment for good outcomes in their systems. And finally, we'll finish up by taking a look at water loss reporting, how to target and mitigate water loss in your community. These are all important strategies to meet our future water challenges. Um, conservation staff are generally involved in implementing many of these strategies. And we wanna make sure that you all get the info you need and know who you can go to um, to learn more to, about supporting your program. So um, we hope that you enjoy the program today and tomorrow. Um, we have an ambitious schedule each day. Uh, we don't wanna keep you on Zoom too long. So we're gonna really try to keep things moving along. I also wanna give a shout out to our sponsors. Um, this group of organizations supports the planning and production of the symposium every year um, through donations, publicity, staff time, and basically anything that we can think of to ask for help on. Um, we appreciate the continued support and we could not do it without this great group of organizations. So we really wanna take a moment um, and express appreciation for all these entities for supporting um, this program, um, and this is our 11th year, so uh, we've uh, it's, we've been it we've been in this for the long haul. So uh, one thing I want to do, since we're in virtual here, um, we have folks joining us today from all over Texas, and we want to learn a little bit about the makeup of our audience. So we're going to do a quick poll to see who's in the audience. Please take a few seconds. Uh, Marson's going to bring the poll up. It's our first poll question, so we'll see how this goes. There it is. Uh, please take a few seconds to answer, and then we'll we'll uh, we'll keep going. We'll give ourselves like thirty seconds for this. Everyone's getting in there and answering the poll question. We're going to pull it down in one second, in a few seconds here. All right, Marcin, let's see um, who we have in the audience. Great. So let's see. We've got a nice mix of state agencies, retail water providers, wholesale consultants. Um, businesses, environment. we have a nice mix like we generally do with these, um, with this conference. Um, it's a real good mix of folks that are all doing work in this area. Um, so let's close the poll and keep moving and get started with our first 